This room is located in a basement of the house. It's pretty small and it does have a lot of structural issues. We have beams going across, we do have posts, the ceiling is low, but it does have a deck on the other side of the wall, but there is no access to this. What I'm proposing is open up the area, open up the wall and create an indoor outdoor bar, sort of a kitchen idea. So the client can barbecue and have an access to the full kitchen inside. The door opens like to the patio. And in order to do that, we did demolish the space. We kind of look at the structural issues that this room has of where the beams are. We had our structural engineer take a look at it and I'm going to show you this journey and I'm hoping you enjoy it. The first thing I did here was knocking out this wall completely. I wanted to create an open space toward the dining and living area. We used to have a window and I decided to change that window to become a French door. Um, so you can literally walk in from this space uh, to the deck. I think it's gonna come out very cool. Tomorrow we're gonna be here measuring the cabinets. The door made such a big difference. You know, the fact that you have a door to walk into the deck, it just gonna feel more open and it feels amazing. One thing about the style of the door, we match the door with the rest of the house. As you can see, there is cedar um, in, inside and also outside we have the vinyl white because the rest of the house has been done that way. So in that case, we couldn't change only one door. So this is Torque from Cambria. It's a quartz countertop. So one thing about quartz, which is amazing, it doesn't scratch, it's heat resistant, and Cambria does have lifetime warranty. It's a beautiful quartz, it's a, it's a beautiful stone. We have done this renovation and now I'm going to take you through the final result. The room is in a basement. My client just to use it as a storage. It was a small and impractical. She asked me to come up with a design to make this space more usable. The room was right beside the deck, but it had no access to the deck. I thought it would be a good idea to turn this space where my client can spend time with the family and entertain. The floor used to be wood and we switched it to a new tile which is more practical for a space like this which is more indoor outdoor and it's easy to clean. I've designed new custom cabinets. The cabinets are made of laminate and I went for very light gray to keep the light feeling in the space. We went with chrome handles to make sure that it has a nice sleek modern look. For the countertop, I went with quartz. It's white and it has very light gray vein in it. For the back splash, I went with glass gray subway tile and I stacked them on top of each other. The good thing with glass tile for the back splash is it's very easy to clean. The lighting in a kitchen is very important. You have to make sure you don't have it too far from the countertop so you're standing in your shadow and you don't want it too close to the cabinet so it's only shine on a cabinet. I have two types of light in this kitchen. One for general lighting, which is on the ceiling, and I also have task lighting underneath of the cabinets. All the appliances has been chosen based on the limitation in the space. One thing that I should mention that I really like is this dishwasher that has two drawers, so you don't have to turn on the whole dishwasher if you don't have enough dishes. So definitely is more energy efficient. I also really like how sleek that stainless steel look is in this kitchen. I love the fact that my client can walk out from this room and use this room as an indoor outdoor kitchen. My next project will be redoing the deck and stay tuned for that. It's gonna be this coming spring. Renovation has its own challenges. This room was a small, but it still had a lot of challenges, such as moving beams, cutting down concrete, opening walls, and we just needed to make sure that everything is structurally done properly. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment below. Give us a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the video in this series.